Я приветствую всех, кто смотрит этот видеоролик. Постараюсь говорить быстро, потому что здесь на улице оживленное движение, летают самолеты и с записью звука могут возникать проблемы. Мы находимся в городе Финик, штат Аризона. Прогулка сегодня не из приятных. На улице 38 градусов жары. Для таких, как, как я, людей сложно переносить такую погоду. Но я не мог просто исчезнуть из этого города и не показать вам одно очень знаменитое место, которое является просто меккой для поклонников влажного классического бритья. Господа, мы с вами находимся рядом с фирмой Razer Emporium. Вы, наверное, знаете, да, они занимаются восстановлением старых станков, новым покрытием, родией, ники. И также продают некоторые мыло и косметические средства других производителей. Поэтому мы сейчас зайдем внутрь и посмотрим, как это все выглядит изнутри. Да, еще одно небольшое замечание. Прежде чем мы войдем в здание, я уже был там. Мэта, к сожалению, я не нашел, он был занят с клиентом, но я разговаривал с другим человеком по имени Патрик, и в принципе я уже получил от них вкусное разрешение на то, чтобы снять их мастерскую и магазин, в котором они предлагают различные предметы для влажного бритья. Поэтому мы с вами без препятствий войдем внутрь и снимем все самое интересное, что лежит у них на полках. Hi. Hey, how are you? You are? I'm Matt. Matt. Uh, Michael from Germany, Facebook. You oh. remember this? Uh, I got I got permission for filming from, from Patrick. Huh? <laughs> so, Good. Uh, you remember we talked about this uh, Black Beauty 1982 on Facebook or? Oh, okay. This restoring process and stuff. Yeah. I just wanted, I, I'm administrating a little Russian-speaking community and a social network about the shaving and so on for you guys. I just wanted to film a bit of, of your workshop and maybe shelves, display and so on just to show what Sure, it this is not Razor Important. This is Ezra Art. Razor Important is over here, our shipping area. Um, you don't mind filming, yeah? No, so, I don't okay. mind. <laughs> I'm just working on the big shave belt for the competition. Ah, you're on the 27th. It's oh, such right. a frustration. Oh, yeah. I'm flying back tomorrow morning. This is already paid by my employer. So I came for another conference here. Oh, right, right, yeah, right. right. And we already discussed this situation with Douglas Smith. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> How would you pronounce his name correctly? Smite. Smite, like silent E at the end. Yes. Right? Smite, okay. But Douglas is correct? Yes, Douglas is correct. Because all you. Douglas or Douglas? Doug, Douglas. 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 Yeah, <laughs> lots, of yeah. lots of confusion. So okay, what so are you this... here for? Huh? So you're at a conference? Yes, Matthias, Matthias Research Society. So this is not uh, related to machines. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Un unfortunately, yes, but uh, I still deserve to have a hobby. <laughs> so you, couldn't, you couldn't convince them to let you stay a couple more days? Uh, you, you mean to stay longer here? Or what? Once yeah, again. To stay longer. Uh, unfortunately, it's Easter time. And uh, my funding organization, they paid a fortune for the ticket, yeah? <laughs> so right. it's problematic to reboot it. So this is what you are currently work on. Big Shave Best. Best, yeah. it's best. Well, that because it's a competition. It's called the Big Shave Best. <laughs> Who's the best? We do, um, we do a lathering competition. Oh, we yeah. We do a shaving competition and a strapping competition. And then the winner of those three compete in trivia. And then that person gets the belt. We've done it every year at the Big Shave, and it's always a, it's a good event. And we're just getting this belt made. We make it right here, and I'm just getting ready to rivet it all together and attach everything. We have these other little plates. You know, Phoenix Shaving's a sponsor, and of course, Razor and Coin's a sponsor. Oh, here it is, Razor and Coin. Nice. Yeah. Okay, then a little hey, hand shaking for the camera, <laughs> and I'll go and show your shelf okay. on, on this plate. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah. you. Hello, again. I hey. I spoke, I talked to Matt. Oh, good. Sure that I was able to get him.
forgot actually one important thing to introduce you <laughs> to the camera. So you're Patrick. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Any message for the Russian speaking Red Shavers? Just Red Shavers from the from the rest of the world, <laughs> German speaking. Any I'm just I'm just super happy. Nor that Norway everybody, that everybody loves Razor and Forum. Um usually the guy that makes sure you get your orders, so you know, just keep them coming in and I'll make sure you get them on time and you know thank you all for supporting us. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you. You can Pass a greeting to, you know, uh, Kurt Arne Soli from Norway. He's administrating the Facebook, the uh, Vintage Gillette Razors group. Oh, okay. My shaving body. Oh, right on. Well, <laughs> so, that's awesome. So, mean, so we are establishing international yeah, content yeah. on Great. both sides of the pond, yeah, you know? There you, go. there you go. Yeah, well, hello to everybody and thank you so much. Thank you for the access. Oh, of course. So you have contacts with practically all artisan manufacturers. Yeah, most uh, most that we do, yeah. And these must be no. These are still this is this is Parker. This is modern. Right. So where is the section with your revamp so revamped? The, all the revamps are actually right in here. So it's it's kind of oops. we've got the Gillette still in cases. These are the uh, certain types of Gillette models. Up here are all our flare tip super speeds individually bagged and uh, you know numbered so we match up with whatever order and then we've got some here we've got more this is all Gillette so the black handles uh, and other cases were they originally black or you just painted them no black? these these are originally black so they're usually made of like a resin uh, composite how durable is the coating what's that oh very I mean most of these are 20 30 years old if not more uh, that was just a, a design that Gillette had if okay. you didn't want a full uh, metal handle. And then over here is where we've got some, uh, our non-Gillette razors in package. Our straight razors are back here, the ones that we... So like, for example, these are ones that we get, whether from sales, uh, like specific little sales, or um, eBay, things like that. And then these are brand new Aust, and we've got some Dovos here as well as there's more Dovos up there. Yep. And uh, then like a, another larger container, and then some more packaged Dovos as well as some <laughs> Bokers, and a little bit of everything, as, as I'm sure you all well know. And then the rest of this is either overstock for the shelf or all our blades. Awesome. Good. Thanks. Of course. So now a little overall view and the rest will be not for the camera because I'm going to make a purchase. <laughs> I'll just give a little closing comment in Russian and that's it. <laughs> Итак, мы с вами посмотрели на их мастерскую, на их магазин. Сейчас я собираюсь что-то выбрать перед отъездом в Германию, купить. Я надеюсь, что вам понравилось это видео. Вы будете иметь представление о том, откуда приходят вещи, которые вы покупаете онлайн. Прощаюсь с вами до следующих роликов. Всем пока. Имейте хорошее настроение, бреетесь чисто. Получайте это просто.